Welcome to Deep Thought. Don't dismiss information just because you're not familiar with the information. And that's very important. It's very important because one thing I've seen, sometimes when you give a lot of people, and I've seen this with a lot of people who call themselves intelligent, who call themselves, they think they, they know stuff. And you hit them with some information that they're not familiar with. And they immediately say, that's not the case. That doesn't happen. Now, the first time I remember this happening, I remember it was like at a job. And I remember the guy, I remember the situation. And we're actually talking about organized crime. And we were saying, it was me and another gentleman saying they're organized crime groups. Black organized crime groups, right? And I ain't talking about like street gangs or anything. But uh, there was a time where they were very organized and everything. And there was a guy at the table say, well, there's no organized, black organized crime groups. And he said it like with authority. And I'm just like, and we both explained to the guy, no, there were some. And I ain't, like I said, these weren't gangs and stuff. And they were, um, there was a lot of stuff. It's not a history talked about. People might talk about someone like Bumpy Johnson, but it was more organized. You know, the most visible was, uh, you know, numbers running and stuff. A lot of organization there. But they were into some other stuff. The thing was, they were quiet. And, you know, I just, yeah, I just knew this. I knew this and actually knew it from official sources. I remember talking with a white police officer a white police officer and he was uh we were having a conversation about the groups because he actually had an admiration for him because he said if you catch them or anything they're very peaceful and everything actually good to deal with they don't give them any trouble <laughs> but my thing was getting back to that original incident this dude just dismissed the information and the thing is, that's one thing I've noticed with a lot of people. They'll dismiss something for no other reason that they never heard it before. They'll dismiss it. I hadn't heard about it. Let's be real on something. Let's be real on something. There's a lot of stuff out there, a lot of knowledge, a lot of stuff that doesn't necessarily make it to, like, the news media or is in popular discussion, you know? Like, there's a... I'll give you a great example. A lot of people haven't heard of this martial arts form that was created by African Americans. It's called 52 Blocks. 52 Blocks. You know? And it's a, it's a, you don't have, um, it's, it's, it's very small, but it's because you don't have a lot of young practitioners. It's mostly as a, I remember I interviewed a, a gentleman on my internet radio show I had before I got on YouTube, and he was a practitioner, and he said, you know, really to find someone who practiced it, they would probably, at the time, he said they'd be older than 49, which now means they would be in their 50s. But it was still a definite style. But someone, a lot of people say, well, I ain't heard of that. They, you know, people say, well, blacks hadn't created anything. I was like, well, no, 52 was right there. You know, 52 blocks was a definite creation. But like I said, a lot of people haven't heard of it. Somebody might dismiss it. There's a lot of things. If I talk about Tantra, if I talk about Tantra, like in Tantra, you have people who practice a form of Tantra, which is connected with energy projection, where they can bring someone to orgasm without physically touching them. Now, some people say, no, nah, there's nothing like that. There's nothing like that. But uh, on contraire, actually, there is. You actually have videos on YouTube of people doing stuff like that, right? Actually doing stuff. I mean, I've mentioned this gentleman who I first witnessed doing it named Shaitan Nityam. It's still there. You know, I was there. I was an eyewitness. I'm like, he's demonstrating. I'm like, literally, because he had a young lady on the table he was demonstrating on. And I'm literally like, 
a few feet away from him while he's doing it. I'm sitting there watching it, her reaction, even the sweat on, right? But somebody else who hadn't witnessed this might dismiss it because they hadn't heard it. Let's be real with something. The average person only has a small percentage of the total information, the total knowledge out here. Even an advanced person who studies everything, you know, they are polymath, they know everything. They still might at best have maybe 10% of all the knowledge that there is out here, right? You know, because a lot of times if you look at, if you look at, like, people will say, well, that's science, that ain't, do that study, that's pseudo science. But I'm going to tell you something that was considered pseudo science, but now it's a normal thing. Chiropractic, chiropractic. A hundred, because I, I remember I had some work done on my back by a chiropractor, and he said, hey, you know, a hundred years ago, this was considered some quack medicine. <laughs> now it's normal. Even something like Reiki, energy healing and stuff. You have uh, hospitals, like, have, like, Reiki practitioners. Hospitals, you know? And my point is, just because you hadn't been exposed to it or heard about it, don't mean anything. Well, how are you going to hear about it? Are you studying it? I mean, if you let me get back to the martial arts examples. People are familiar with general karate, but that's actually a specific uh, martial art. I mean, a lot of people use them interchangeably, but they're not. That's just one style. Or kung fu. That's just one style. I remember when they did the update of the Karate Kid uh, with Jaden Smith. You know. And I remember they called it, you know, they called it Karate Kid, same name. But some people rightfully pointed out, it's like, well, no, actually, they're not practicing karate. Karate was a Japanese thing. In China, they call it Kung Fu. And it's kind of a different style. They should have been called the Kung Fu Kid. Right? And then any martial arts, there's so many out there. There's so many systems. There's different systems of sexual interaction. You know, when you talk about stuff like Tantra. You know, like Tantra might be a little bit known, but a lot of people don't know it. But there's different systems of uh, like sexual interaction. I mean, you have uh, one group, they have a system. They call the White Tigress Society they in Taiwan where they've taken, uh, you know, oral sex to a mystical level. They've actually taken it to a mystical level. I mean, there's so much. I mean, and then you have a lot of knowledge that isn't public. You have secret societies who practice more esoteric teachings and stuff. And that's still knowledge for them. But to everybody else, it might look like some weird stuff or might even, they might even call it magic or whatever. But it's actually a science. It's actually a science, but people aren't aware of it. Like, there's a lot of things, and, you know, if you look at different religions, they have an outer part, but they have an inner part. Like Christianity, you know, you have the outer versions of Christianity, numerous sects, but then you have the more esoteric version, Gnosticism, you know. Or if you look at um, the Jewish practice, they have, uh, you know, the Kabbalah. If you look at uh, Islam, they have Sufism. And this is very important to understand, that, but it's still, it's still real. You still have people who adhere to it because we have a big world. We have, we have a big world out here. So it's like if you hear something you hadn't heard about, don't dismiss it. Don't just dismiss it because you hadn't heard it. Explore it. Try to find out more. Don't say, oh, I hadn't heard it. I hadn't experienced it. It's just like with a basic thing with relationships, right? You have men who not just, just, they might just have a knowledge or insight into uh, female psychology to the point where even if they not, um, you know, drop dead handsome, they could still get attention from women. That's actually a knowledge. You actually, there are actually knowledge systems on that, on interacting with people. They're actually a blueprint. You know, but someone shouldn't dismiss it because either they hadn't heard about it or, you know, they might not have the tools to practice it, but they can learn it. Like Tantra. Tant people, can, anybody can learn. Anybody can learn Tantra and other forms of sacred sexuality. All right. But my thing is, just because you're not familiar with information, don't dismiss it. 
Try to find out about it. Don't dismiss something until you explore it and find out it's not real. Because at the same time, you got a lot of stuff out there that doesn't have a basis on anything. But if this worked for one person, that means it could work for others. Or, you know, it's out there. Even if it's, uh, like I say, you got tons of secret societies and stuff out there. You know, get tons of knowledge. And tons of knowledge that is public, but for whatever reason, the general public doesn't discuss it. You know, like if you look on a basic level, the general public doesn't discuss uh, how to conduct a science experiment for the average person. But the information is still there. So I want you all to think on that. Anyway, I'll talk to you all later. Peace and blessings.